When I was a kid, I used to think that I was the greatest. Do you know Muhammad Ali, for example, the GOAT, the greatest of all time? I used to think that I was kind of like him, but I'm not in the boxing or Muay Thai game, nah. I'm in the more public speaking type of thing. Because at the age of five or six, I spoke English more fluently than most adults. In fact, I was one of the most fluent speaking students in my whole class. In fact, no, let's stop. I'm one of the most greatest, I'm one of the most fluent speaking English students in my whole school. And that was a couple of years ago. A couple of years ago where I won a lot of awards. But now it's kind of funny because frankly, the world always wants more. And speaking English, it's just the bare minimum. My name is Fadel Orvin Hernando. And let's relax and think for a second. Think about the words we speak, the sounds that leaves our lips. Realize that those very same words that build our world, build our hopes, build our dreams. And realize that the words you speak is just another part of a larger puzzle piece. You know, today's day and age, everything is globalized. Everything is interconnected. Cultures mix, borders blur, and distance, come on now, it's just another annoyance. But let me tell you that today's superpower isn't just weapons. But in fact, it is also our voices. Because, you know, voices isn't just about making sounds or noises. No, come on. It's about using those very same sounds and noises and making a key. A key to what, you might ask? A key to a door. What else? A key to a door. Okay, before I continue, imagine this. Imagine if every language is a key. And imagine if that key opens a door to a whole new world. A world filled with culture. A world filled with new people, new ideas, new ideologies, and love. Because that's basically it. When you hold more than one key, when you learn more than one language, my friend, you just don't live in one world. But you live in many. And in short, that's basically multilingualism. But I'm not done yet. Because multilingualism isn't just about saying hi in 10 different ways. No, it's about seeing the whole world in a new and fresh way. It's about realizing that we have chains. We have chains that bound us, that locks us in a single perspective. Even though in each and every one of new language, it has an objective. And that's why we need to learn new languages. And that's why we need to realize that multilingualism is so great. It's so great, in fact. It teaches us how to love. It teaches us how to fear less and realize that in each different people, it has heart. It teaches us that the whole world is not filled with fear and hate because that's not because of language. That's not because of multilingualism. That's because of evil. Because multilingualism is about love. It's about understanding each other. Now let me stop and say how great multilingualism is because you might be thinking, okay, it's great. We get it. But can you tell us why it's great? Can you tell us why it's such a big deal? Because, okay, I can speak Indonesian, but I'm not going anywhere. So why do I need to learn English? Hey, why do I need to learn another language like Arabic, Mandarin, or Russian? I'm definitely not going there. Well, that's stupid, my friend. Because let me give you an example. There's a YouTuber from New York. His name is Shalma NYC. He's a white man. I'm not, I'm not being racist at all. It's just saying the facts. But, okay, let's, let me give you an example in one of his videos. 
He's walking around the stand looking at some, you know, Chinese stuff because he's in Chinatown and he got to buy something. So he goes to a stand and says, uh, how much is uh, this hat? Uh, this one, how much is, uh, how much this hat, ma'am? And the Chinese worker is just rolling her eyes, thinking to herself, why? Why do I have, uh, I don't even know English. Why do white people always want to buy our stuff? Uh. But then, whilst those Chinese women, Chinese men were making fun of Shama and YC were gossiping about him, basic, basically calling him a foreigner, he does a complete 180 and suddenly speaks Chinese. And you can see how impressed, you can see how surprised those Chinese people were. Because at first they were rolling their eyes, being all grumpy and stuff, but suddenly, what? You didn't tell me you can speak Chinese? Where did you learn Chinese from? You you speak better Chinese than me. Why do you also know Cantonese and Fugonese? What? It's crazy how knowing someone's language can make them from grumpy, make them from your enemy, to your friend. And if that doesn't convince you enough, let me tell you another example. An example from me, in fact. When I was around 10 or 12, I went on a study tour to Malaysia. And, okay, we basically speak the same language. Indonesian and Mayu, it's not that different. But I was having a hard, hard time. Oh my God, I, I didn't know what they were saying at all. And I was just kind of, oh, okay, it's boring. It's just going to be another, yeah, I'm just going to hear to this teacher lecture about something, uh, and that's it. But then, some... Malaysian kid suddenly asked me something in English. I was shocked, I'm gonna be honest. I wasn't shocked because he could speak English, come on. I was shocked because how much we had in common. He likes games, I like games. I like drawing, he likes drawing too. You know, imagine if I never knew English. Imagine if I didn't try to speak English in the first place. When he tried speaking English to me, I would just go, yeah, yeah, and that's it. Imagine if I never talked to him. I would never know how much we had in common. I would never know how my brothers and sisters from hundreds of thousand kilometers away are basically the same. That's why it's crazy. But let me give you another more morbid example. Imagine you're drunk. You're in a foreign country and then you suddenly find a man threatening you with a pocket knife. You punch him and he's basically dead. When the police arrive and you don't know how to speak, what are they gonna do? You know, at that point, you're not gonna be afraid because you got caught. You're just gonna be afraid because you're going to a kangaroo court. And that's basically it. That's why multilingualism is so, so important. Because it doesn't matter what language you wanna learn. It doesn't matter if you wanna speak Arabic. It doesn't matter if you wanna speak Mandarin, Swahili, Spanish, or any other type of language, just go for it. Just do it and realize and embrace its culture. Embrace it and realize that in today's global age, in today's interconnected world, true superpower isn't about strength, isn't about money nor physique, but it is about the voices that we've yet to speak. My name is Farrell Orfin Hernando, and thank you for listening to my speech.